The equipment is hooked up and ready. We can start the test as soon as you give me the go-ahead. Very well. Please stand back. I don't want any erroneous readings. You're welcome to stay and observe if you want, though. All right, power on the stealth boy, Lily. Turning it on. Feels strange. Strange, my God. Interesting. Try thinking aggressive thoughts now. Think about smashing a rad scorpion. Ah! Lily smash! Yeah! How were those readings looking, Calamity? Stealth field is unstable and scrambling things. The reading says gamma wave activity is zero. But that can't possibly be right. Gamma wave activity is... zero. That can't be right. It must be a result of the interference. All right, we're done here. Go ahead and power the stealth boy down, Lily. Oh, I liked having it on. I'll get back to you on that in a moment, once I've analyzed the results. Uh-oh. Well, well. Congratulations on getting the Mark II prototype functional, Doctor. Now, just hand it over, and we'll be on our way. My request is perfectly reasonable. Give us the stealth boy specs, and there will be no need for us to splatter the room with your insides. There are caches of stealth boys out there. With a Mark II in hand, it shouldn't be difficult to upgrade every one of them. No, I didn't. Not until now, anyway. Very well, Schumann. You've made your point, and I withdraw my request. Maybe it's just me, but... Oh. Nice work with the Nightkin. I've never seen anyone able to talk their kind out of anything once they had their minds set to it. I got a lot of useful data from the experiment, and am a lot closer to a cure than before. It's occurred to me that this brief test might not yield a cure anytime soon. However, if Lily were to continue to wear the prototype... I'm close to the cure. I can feel it. Lily's continued help will give me the last bit of data that I need. Permanent damage to her mind is a certainty. Even the cure won't help her. I understand. Get back to me with an answer as... Don't you want to walk right up to the Nightkin and stare right at them to see what they'll do? Huh. I'd heard there were new people in town. Absolutely not. Lily's done enough, and she doesn't need to do any more. Close enough to a cure already, and don't need to rush it. Thank you. Change names and jobs every decade or so just to keep things interesting. I picked Calamity this time because it sounded nice. I've never really done much science stuff till now. I'm pretty good at it, or so Dr. Henry tells me. Most of the time, I'm Dr. Henry's research assistant. We're looking into ways to cure the, uh... I'm also handy with tools. And once in a while I venture down into the valley to trade the big horner hides... ...and meat for supplies. All right.
like it up here. It reminds me. Don't you still have business with Dr. Henry? You and I are done. So many staring eyes. Have you come to a decision on... All right. I'll dismantle the prototype to avoid any further incidents with the Nightkin. Is there something else I can do? Yes, specializing in neuroscience, both human and canine. Of course, this lab is nothing compared to what I had when I was with the Enclave. Yes, but the leadership and I didn't see eye to eye, so I left. It was the right decision, since the Enclave's oil rig was destroyed not long after. Cyber dogs and the like. It's not a field I work in much anymore. If we must. Yes, yes. <laughs>